Hello class, today we are going to learn how to find the area of a square. We are in page 263 in our arithmetic books. Yesterday we learned how to find the area of a rectangle and the formula to find the area of a rectangle was A equals length times width. We are going to use another formula to find the area of a square. It's going to be similar to the rectangle, but we are using a different one. So going to our lesson right away, we have to know what is the rule to find the area of a square. So the rule says, there, the area of a square can be found by using the formula A equals S times S. So A equals S times S. It can also be written as S squared. When a number is squared, the number is multiplied by itself. So the formula to find the area of a rectangle was A equals length times width. To find the area of a square is going to be A equals S times S. Some of you are confused. What is that S? S stands for side, the side of a square. Let me go ahead and show you an example of a square. So I have a square with one side that equals 5 yards. The formula to find the area of a square is A equals S times S. As I told you, the side of a square uh, is 5 yards. So I have my side of this square equaling 5 yards. So I'm going to write down A equals 5 times 5. We do know that 5 times 5 equals 25, but remember, whenever we are writing down the final answer of an area of a shape, we have to write down square measurement, square measurement. So my final answer is going to be A equals 25 square yards. As I told you, remember square measurement and the side of my square is 5 yards. Let me go ahead and show you another example. I have another square with a side of 8 miles. 8 miles. The formula to find the area of a square is A equals side times side. I know that my side is 8 miles, so I'm going to write it down. A equals 8 times 8. One thing that we do know is that in the square, all sides are equal. That's why I don't need to find for the other side because once they give me one side, I know the length of the other sides of the square. So A equals 8 times 8. So 8 times 8 equals what class? Very good, 64. So A equals 64 square miles. Just remember uh, the formulas to find the area of a rectangle and the area of a square. At the same time, remember to label your final answer as square measurement, square measurement. Your class for today is going to be page 263, um, sections number one, two, and three. Goodbye.